I suppose I regarded myself as a painter uh, from the time that I left school. I joined the Institute of Contemporary Arts, in fact, which was just down the road at 16 Dover Street. Um, I met a number of very distinguished architects and uh, painters there, and I felt I had some affinity and wanted to join them. We grew up, uh, it was in rural Kent, and uh, I was fascinated by these hills. rolling hills, rolling, folding hills, recumbent forms, uh, sun and shadow. And I suppose this has been with me ever since this image. It certainly fed my imagination. And when I came to Warwickshire, where I now live, I found many of those forms that one would find in Palmer's paintings. Uh, in, in Warwickshire. And the paintings we have here, certainly the oils, are, I hope, a reflection of that. It's more of a, uh, a physical reflection rather than a mere uh, copy of what I saw. I'm doing something that will reflect my physical experience of these uh, folding hills, um, these forms that I see around me. But it's also something that might shock me uh, into recognising something fresh. Uh, this is the genesis of the paintings. And many of my watercolours um, are a direct uh, uh, result of my interest in uh, uh, Italian art. And certainly I think my pictures would, I would not have painted as I did if it hadn't been for the example of uh, the Italians uh, and much of the paintings on the wall here before we mo I moved to Warwickshire are d a direct result of my experiences in Rome. I was trying to find a modern equivalent or trying to find a modern language that related to the past but was still part of our time. And this is the genesis of, of a lot of what was on the wall you see today. So I might be, I might do two or three in the in an afternoon, um, while while the sort of impression or experience of that place is still buzzing around in my head. Um, my paintings, I like to think, are semi-abstract. While I have, I draw some inspiration and um, the experience of the hills and um, fields. I'm trying to um, reflect some of the folding hills that I see around me in Warwickshire um, and to try to emphasize the foldingness of the folded hill, folding hills. One is trying to see what one looks at or trying to, uh, or you take uh, sensuous pleasure from, um, but to reinterpret them in terms of paint, forms of the trees and the landscape. So that really it's, it's an exercise in abstract forms um, uh, mediated by paint and colour. I think this is, this, it is one of the finest galleries that I know and my paintings at the moment are quite small. They are domestic size and I think they fit very well into a gallery of this nature and so I feel very very flattered that I started my days off as a painter in 16 Dover Street now I'm just I'm ending it or not ending it but I'm continuing it a little a few hundred yards up the road at Gra in Grafton Street uh, I think Grafton Street is a very special place for painters English landscape painting <laughs> is unique, I suppose, uh, or at least it's essential to the English. It's part of our, our heritage. Uh, it's very, therefore, it's very difficult to say something new uh, because people have been doing it ever since uh, Turner and Constable and doing it very well. Uh, so to, to, to do new landscape paintings, um, one's working, one's got a lot of competition. Um, but I hope to stand on the shoulders of giants and say something perhaps a little fresh.